Local family has started a conversation about accommodating those with disabilities. News 10's Lacey Clifton shares how it all started at the pool this weekend. That's right, the Steiner's daughter, Kala, was fascinated with the swimmers of this weekend's Special Olympics. But when they took her for a swim of her own, well, they ran into some complications. Yeah, there you go. Kala Steiner is a special little girl. She has cerebral palsy, but that doesn't keep her from moving. Oh, yeah, big girl. This weekend, her parents tried to introduce her to swimming at Deming Park Pool. But it didn't go as planned. Excuse me, sir, are you planning on using that in the pool? Because you can't. And so we explained to um, her that Kala had cerebral palsy and that we needed it to help us hold her in the water. And she told us that they couldn't make any exceptions. The pool rules state life jackets or floating devices must be U.S. Coast Guard approved. Steiner says the kind needed for Kala's condition is more than they can afford. But he didn't think an exception to the rule was too much to ask. ADA is there for that purpose, to make exceptions, reasonable modifications to a uh, regular way of doing things. So after being asked to leave the dimming pool, Steiner says they were able to find a place for Kala to swim, but unfortunately, there weren't any other people in the pool. He says that by not being able to swim with others, that's what Kala's missing out on, is that social interaction. News 10 spoke with Park Superintendent Eddie Bird. He says he understands the parents' frustration, but safety is something they have to enforce. My staff offered the chair. They offered that they could swim with her as long as they held her. It was just that that floating device is not a safe floating device and something that we would not allow anyone to use in the pool. Ultimately, Steiner hopes by speaking out in this case, it opens the door for future swimmers with disabilities. So after my interview with Bird, he reached out to say the pool is already researching ways to update its policies and practices when it comes to flotation devices. Bird hopes the changes will provide a better pool experience for all patrons. Back to you.